Indonesia will host Anok World Beach Games this year in August in Bali, where its governor Iwayan Koster is still rejecting the presence of Israel athletes in the event. According to Governor Koster, he is following Indonesia's constitution and existing related regulations that forbid Indonesia to play national anthems from any foreign nation that doesn't have official diplomatic relations with Indonesia. If, if the Israeli team with en, win any international competition in Indonesia's soil, suppose that its national anthem is to be played. However, it is wrong according to the governor. Previously, Bali's governor also rejected Israeli national teams to attend FIFA U20 World Cup to play in Bali. That is believed to become one of the reasons behind removing Indonesia as the U20 World Coast Cup host by FIFA. Meanwhile, Indonesian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Toko Faiza Shah said, according to Foreign Minister Regulation in 2019 about the guidelines of diplomatic relations, for any regional government in Indonesia that wants to have their direct relation with foreign country and it is not in the framework of international relations in general as a nation. Faiza said for all international sports competition that Indonesia will become the host country, the regulation cannot be used. Kementerian Hukum dan HAM juga telah melakukan investigasi internal sebagai tindak lanjut atas terjadinya insiden tersebut. In a series of the Holy Week, Christians across Indonesia, including in Jakarta, commemorate a Maudi Thursday in the churches. Maudi Thursday is one of the most important holy ceremonies for Christians before Easter Friday and Easter Sunday. And also, the Holy Thursday is also part of Passover Triduum, where Christians across the globe commemorate the Last Supper of Jesus with his disciples a night before his crucifixion. Today, a Jakarta Cathedral holds three Maudi Thursday Mass services one in the afternoon hours and two others in the evening. Worshippers are allowed to enter the church one hour before each Mass in which face mask is still mandatory. For one service, the Jakarta Cathedral can accommodate about 4,300 worshippers. Security personnel from Jakarta Police and Military are deployed to guard the Monday Thursday services across Jakarta, including at the Cathedral. On Friday, Christians everywhere will commemorate Good Friday.